We've got a couple of good questions from our chat room. We've got Eliz who is asking if you believe that anyone could get a programming position today without a college degree. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think that open source, open source allows one to have a resume of footprints and fingerprints on the Internet that does not necessarily require a degree. I think a degree makes you more well-rounded, I think a degree can give you some historical context. I think a degree shows that you put the work in and are willing to see, see something through. But if you have three years at a job or you, know, you stay at a job for more than a year or two, I don't like seeing resumes where someone hops from job to job every couple of months. Um, that shows also that you have stick to -itiveness. So a degree is a kind of stick to -itiveness. What about a cert? If someone were to come to you with a cert, series of certs, maybe not a lot of real world experience, mm. would you consider that or is that a turnoff? Depends on the cert. Like network certifications are useful. I find uh, programming certifications less so. Programming certifications show that you are able to take tests and, uh, you know, that's, that's a useful skill. It is not a replacement for other things. And I say that as someone who used to have like all the certifications for, for Microsoft. Right. Um, it's it's a way to round things out, but it's not a replacement for anything. Well, I, I remember I was I'm from that area where collecting certs was sort of a thing. It's what you did. Mm -hmm. I mean, you had extra time, so why not get another certification? And then everybody had certifications. Literally everybody in the field had certifications, and they kind right. of became pointless unless you did something with the certification. Yeah, I think what I want to see is uh, kindness, enthusiasm, the ability to get along with other humans. Uh, I want to see how people can uh, can think. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, let's put them in front of a whiteboard and see if they can solve this bubble sort. You know, with uh, you know while they sit there under pressure. I want to like a really great question that we ask sometimes at Microsoft is when someone goes into the browser and types www.cnn.com, what happens? Like like what happens? So then, what would you say to something like that? Oh, so you actually want them to describe? Okay, well. This is happening in the browser. This is going to happen in the transport layer. This, these are the protocols that are being inv invoked. Mm -hmm. This is the communications that's taking place. These are the sessions that are being established. So is that kind but, of granularity? But, but how far down do you keep going? Right, right exactly. Like physics, speed of light. <laughs> you know, OSI level? Are, do you, no, do you I mean, no, like quantum effects. <laughs> you know, like, and, and here's the other part. When they hit something that they don't know, I gently push on them and I say, well... What do you think is happening here? Because you're basically asking them to solve a problem, right? Oh. What must be happening? Because there's a black box now. They've come up against a black box. They know that they poke it and something happens. Like, they know that D a lot of people know that DNS exists. They do not know how DNS works. So then you ask them, well, how do you think DNS works? Not, no, not, and it's, not a, it's not a trick question. It's not meaning, meaning to fool them or sneak. Or it's, it's meaning to see how their brains work. And this has nothing to do with C Sharp versus Ruby or Node versus C++. It's just, can this person be a systems level thinker? 